right, Detroit Lions expected are expecting a sellout uh, Sunday. I think they starting to sell standing room only tickets. Take these work shoes off. I need, bruh, I need something for my work shoe. My feet be sweating even in the cold. <laughs> but, but yeah, this is this is uh, mimicking what was it week three of this season where I told y'all they was at a turning point where this can be. SOL where they can show the league that you know the Lions you know are for real and I told y'all after that game you know the season kind of dipped you know Dan Campbell showed the, the mental and physical fortitude that he didn't lose the locker room a lot of people said he losing the locker room a lot of it was due that game in particular you could talk about he didn't go for it on fourth down I watched that game the biggest issue about that game, if we all want to be frank, was injuries. They wouldn't even been in the position to lose that game, you know, had Swift stayed uh, healthy, had St. Brown injured his ankle, Josh Reynolds injured his ankle. Obviously, DJ Shark catching the ball now, he still was injured. So it really was Jamal Williams who got stopped on fourth down in that game. The defense was playing terrible. They got rid of Arby Pleasant. The DBs did better did better but it seemed like they playing more zone and they switched their philosophy you know when Pleasant left yeah I don't care what they say they playing more bend don't break and that ain't what Aaron Glenn want to do that's not what Bill Parcell was about they pay they playing more bend don't break you know and that's what they should be playing in the beginning but when you start off the season with so many injuries to him I told y'all the second most important player in this whole team was Levi Anazorki the Lions, don't, they biggest problem defensively, you know, throughout the season, other than the scheme they was running, they biggest problem defensively, that you're not getting no penetration up the middle of the field. That's the most irritating place for, for a, a quarterback is to get pressure right up the middle, you know. And Anazorki, he provided that pressure, right? He would have provided that twitch right up the middle. No, you down on Azorki, you know what I'm saying? Um, you down Pascal, two of your second round picks, them very high picks. You down Jamison Williams, you down Romeo Accor, your prize free agent you brought back the year before, uh, you know, year before last season. When you down that many critical players, you know, Monty Arari, yeah, he had in the back injury, playing terrible. You down too many critical players already in the defense. That the strength is a defensive line. Hutchison, Okora, Okora, uh, uh, Harris, Anazorki, right there. That's five. That's five main players. So of course the defense was gonna be in, in, in trouble. Ma uh, Malafanu, he got injured. Walker was injured somewhere ar around. You know, I don't know if it was after that game, or whatever. So you look, you look at it when you start the season off with so many injuries that the injury bug is contagious. And the, and the positive thing about having so many injuries, right, the Kaminsky's get to step up. The James Houston's stepping up. Now you're getting guys that wasn't supposed to really contribute on this level. You give, you're giving them an opportunity to contribute and get experience. So now that's how you build depth. You might have found a starter or two up in there. But the best way to get experience is by playing and live action. So, um... Minnesota, hell of a football team. I called it. I said they will run away with the NFC North before the season. It's a whole video. Check the NFC North playlist. It was easy to me. You know, you overcame Devontae Adams, just Christian Watson balling in the Green Bay, but this is a little bit too late. It got to be more than Christian Watson. Romeo Dobbs, very talented receiver. I think Green Bay receiver cores in great hands for years to come. I was high on, on, on Romeo Dobbs. Christian Watson was somebody that was on the Lions list. Had they stayed put at number in the second round, probably be a Detroit Lion right now. That was the rumor, you know? So at the end of the day, you know, it's a turn, another turning point. They recovered. Now either you're going to stumble down the stretch, what is the Jets, Packers, Bears, um, somebody else in there. You know, it's five weeks left, right? It's Jets, Packers, Bears. There's one more team outside of Minnesota. Either you're going to stumble, you know what I'm saying? Or you go, or you go, you know, you go, you gonna to prove. Guess what? It, this a winning by a point, winning by a field goal, winning by seven, kill. 
It has to be killed or be killed. I told y'all this. They got to get that shit back in blood. When they went up all them points, run it up again. Uh, uh, run it up again. Run it up. This shit. This, this game is personal, bro. And the guy who scored the touchdown, Osborne, he from Detroit. Or from the area. This got to be personal, bro. If they want to show us that they really changing, this is another SOL turning point. It's another turning point. It's another turning point. You know, uh, uh, Jalen Rieger doing the same old son in the Lions, same old Lions, same old Lions. It's the same old Lions. Come on. You ain't even need that extra kick in the ass. Didn't. You ain't need that extra kick in the ass. But he gave it to you. And what you gonna do about it? They're 100% confident they're gonna come in Detroit. And why shouldn't Kirk Cousins? You know, why shouldn't he feel 100% confident? We know what happened last year. You know what I'm saying? I guess the first game was they paid back from last and won our first game last year. But if this team really, really bought it, bought it, and they really changing the culture, make the playoffs or don't make the playoffs, it started on Sunday. It started on Sunday to show us that they're not the same line. It's another turning point. It's another turning point. And we not we not focusing on just winning the football game. We we know that's not good enough. I'm sorry, y'all. That's not good enough. It has to be domination. They dominate the Minnesota Vikings, and they put the league on notice. And if Jerry Goff find a way to lose this game, I don't care what the hell he do outside to win a playoff game. Outside win the Super Bowl, gotta get rid of his ass. He lose this game because of him. Now, if it ain't his fault, I feel you. Some dumb shit, some Austin Bryant type stuff. Whatever. He playing at a high level. Everybody said, oh, now we got to keep a man. I rise that, I raise that stock. Ship his ass for the better quarterback still. I'm sorry. You still got to have a dual threat. Don't fall in love. You know, if you want a playoff game, then, hey, yo, we got to have a conversation. He can stay, probably. But I'm still probably drafting that kid in Florida. I'm warming him up in the, in the shed, in the dugout. He warming up in the, in the, in the bullpen. He warming up in the back. Still. 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 I'm, hey, at the end of the day, I feel the way I feel. Stafford had good seasons here and there and stuff, but, dog, they lose because of him. I don't give a fuck what else he do unless he want a playoff game, which is unlikely. This is a critical moment for them, dude. This is a turning point for the franchise. It is. It's a turning point for the franchise. And that's why they sold out. That's why they're doing standing room only tickets. Everybody in the city of Detroit know this is usually a situation where the Lions let the city of Detroit down. The Lions let the great state of Michigan down. Everybody know it. And that's why the game is so popular on popular Sunday. Oh, man, they didn't change the whole look of the movie theater. This is, I'm not going to tell you the movie theater because it used to be one of the best kept secrets in, in, in this area. And now people didn't find it. So I'm not saying the movie theater. I see enough people out here. Nobody here today. But, um, I'm going to park this close. But yeah, this is a big game Sunday. It's the biggest. It's the biggest in this franchise had in a long time. Excuse me. So we'll see. We'll see if they can they can complete it, but it's huge. And um, you know, Minnesota's a nine and two football team. Don't want they already beat us. So we'll see. Thumbs up the video, share the video. And then and the Lions is favorite. So think about that for a minute. They favorite. That's something to chew on. So thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and the subscribe button, it's the bell icon button, hit all the notifications, increase the chance of notifications. We go live and drop a video financially. We want to support the channel, Cash App, Dollar Sign, CJ Good 313, Venmo, CJ Good 313, PayPal link in the description. Hit the link tree, find me on Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, the whole nine. My link tree, the first link in the description. Peace.